Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm probably looking a little crazy right now. I am doing a makeup first impressions tutorial on the new ColourPop and C3PO palette. The tutorial should go up first, so I will go ahead and have that video linked down below in the description in case you're interested. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Hourglass Ambient Light palette. Oh my god, I love these palettes. For a few years, I would not go anywhere near these palettes because of the price point. Um, they are pricey. However, this is my third one now, and let me show you the one that I got last year. So this is the one that I got last year. I loved the packaging on this one as well. Absolutely beautiful. And I, it probably doesn't even look like it, but I used this palette every single day for months. They have got huge dips in this palette. You can see on the highlighter, you see that crack? There is like pan under that. Um, so definitely, definitely well loved. And so when I saw the ones come out this year, I have never seen Hourglass do packaging like this. I absolutely love this packaging. Now, when you purchase these from stores like Sephora, for instance, there are certain color stories for each design. It came in three different design choices that you could choose from. An elephant, there was one with a tiger, and then there was also one with butterflies. I love all of them. I would love to pick up all of them. But as far as like the color story goes, the elephant was the one that I was the most interested in. So that is the one that I picked up. I thought it was the one I would get the most use out of. So if you are around my skin tone, this probably would be like the best color story for you. The tiger, if you have deeper skin tones, you know, medium to deep. And then the butterfly is more suited for like fair porcelain skin tones. This is more like light medium. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, as usual, these palettes retail for $85. And what I was going to say as far as like Sephora purchasing directly from Hourglass's website, on Hourglass's website, you can actually pick the component that you want. So the elephant, the butterfly, or the tiger one. And then you can pick which color story you want to go inside of it. So you can really build your own custom one. But this one worked for me. I picked mine up from Sephora. I love this packaging, A nice tin packaging just like it normally is and then here is the color story inside this one i think it is absolutely beautiful so you have got two finishing powders although i mean you can use those to kind of buff all over your skin when everything is said and done to kind of blend everything together but i a lot of the times will just mix the two that come in the palette and I will use that to set my face and that's what we're gonna do today. So this becomes like a full face palette at that point for me. Then you have got a bronzer, you've got two blushes, and then you've got a strobe light, which is more of like a highlighter. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now I'm gonna swatch the finishing powders. You're probably not really gonna be able to see it that much because it's gonna be kind of my skin color. The first one is dim light, and then the second one is soft light. So this one has a little bit more pink in it. This one has a little bit more yellow. Then next up is the strobe light, and this one is in the shade beaming light. That actually looks a little bit dark, but we'll see how that goes. Then I've got a bronzer here and that is in the shade Bronze White, and then two blushes. So this is Coral and Radiant Rose. So that is all of the shades that come in this palette in particular. And oh my God, look at the shine on that highlighter though. That would be a gorgeous eyeshadow as well. So you could use this palette on your eyes as well. Just throw this into the crease, this all over the lid and throw this, um, which one is that? Dim light, throw that on the inner corner. That would be a beautiful eyeshadow look. But let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay guys, I brought you in a little bit closer so you could really see how these powders were applying. These powders are so soft. They look like you have nothing on your skin, but they make your skin just look like it is glowing and healthy. I don't know how they do it, 
but there is something special about hourglass powders in general. Now I'm going to be using just one brush today for everything we're going to be doing with this palette. This is the Baddington brush and I have no clue what name it is, but this is from Baddington. It is a beautiful brush. I use it all the time. So as I mentioned, I'm just going to kind of go back and forth between these two setting powders, dim light and soft light. And I am going to go ahead and just kind of powder all over my face. These are very, very soft powders, as I mentioned. They do give you kind of like a glowy type of effect. It's definitely not a matte powder. I think in general, if you like, or if you are looking for an all matte look, Hourglass kinda, she's not your girl. She's not your girl. This is if you want like a soft, glow. That is what our glass is. All right, so as you can see, everything is just set down really nicely, but I have that kind of like glow to my skin, right? My makeup is set for the day. It is not going anywhere but it just gives you like that soft glow effect. Again, I don't know what kind of sorcery they have in these powders, but I'm here for it. All right, next up, I'm gonna go into the bronzer in the shade Bronze Light. If I had to complain about anything with these palettes, it is just the pan size. I do wish they were a little bit bigger. Now, having said that, like I said, that one that I used like every single day, I literally had to force myself to put it down because I wasn't using any other makeup in my collection. So I purposely put it back in my drawer so I would quit using it. But I would use that all the time on the way to work um, during tax season. I work at a CPA firm and so we work crazy hours obviously. And um, I would be getting ready on the way to work in the morning in the car. And these palettes, let me tell you, they come in so such good handy um, as far as getting ready quickly because you have, like I said, everything in one place. You can use this on your eyes. That is what I would do for work all the time. And I just felt like it looked so monochromatic and kind of like put together because you had the same stuff on your cheeks as your eyes. And... Honestly, I mean, I thought it looked really nice. I love the palettes that I have, which is why I picked up this one, um, because they are just such, such good quality. And then the packaging this year, holy shit, the packaging is so beautiful. Now, I kind of, the butterfly one, it has got one of those like soft glow type of powders in there that you can use as a highlighter though and it looks so pretty um teresa is dead did a video on that um so i will try to find her video and link it down below she's one of my favorites to watch but yeah and this palette there is not one shade in here that I don't think that I will use. I mean, every single shade is useful and that's the thing. I mean, I feel like a lot of face palettes you will get and there will be like, you know, half the palette sometimes that you can't even use because it's not for your skin tone. I love that these were kind of built around skin tones. That way, you know, if you're spending that kind of money, I want to be able to use every single thing in that palette. All right. I just kept applying bronzer. Bronzer is one of my favorite makeup items in general. All right, now we're gonna go into the strobe powder. Beaming light is what this one is called. And again, I'm using a big fluffy brush. Let me try to like hold it a little bit more compact. That is what you would get if you were using like a smaller brush. So you can get it where it will glow. However, I kind of prefer this 
but now that I've done it on this side, I kind of, I guess, need to even it out, don't I? All right, now nothing else on this brush. I'm just going to kind of blend over that highlighter, like I said, because I don't really like a super intense highlighter like that. I prefer the more like soft glow type of look. Okay, now we have got the two blushes down here. I think I'm going to go into the coral one just because I love a good coral brush. So I'm going to use this brush is actually a tapered highlighter brush, but you can use brushes for whatever you want to. And I'm going to go into that coral shade. I think either one of the blushes in here would just make you look kind of just super healthy. Now look at that pigment. I mean, it definitely has pigment, but do you see what I'm talking about? How you blend it in and it just looks like it is kind of one with your skin. It just looks like your skin is glowing. These powders are so nice too. They just literally like glide over your skin and blend so seamlessly. I'm using a very, very light hand as well. And this is a very fluffy brush. Meaning that if you were using a more compact brush, the pigment would show more. This is a very fluffy brush and you can see how pigmented these blushes are. So, I mean, with these little pans, you would be surprised. Like I said, I used that other palette every single day for months and I still have so much product left. Like you would be using these little pans for ever. <laughs> All right, with whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna kind of bring that up to the temples. All right, and this is the finished look. You guys will have to let me know what you think about the complexion. I love these powders. I can go ahead and tell you, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll be back for like the final, final thoughts to kind of go over everything. All right guys, so you will have to let me know how you think the skin is looking, but I can tell you right now, I love this palette. I love the packaging. I think this is the best packaging that they have done in the past, like ever, honestly. Um, I absolutely love this packaging and I think in this palette in particular, every single one of these shades is useful to me. I will use this palette and I think this would be a great gift for any makeup lover. It is a little pricey, but as I mentioned, I mean, I really think these, there's something special about these powders, guys. If you've never tried them, treat yourself, treat somebody. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.